Hello everybody and welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, we're going to check out everything that's new with Oppo's brand new A96. Now if you're in the market looking for a brand new Oppo device and you happen to be looking for their affordable range series, uh, the A96 here does offer a couple of upgrades compared to its predecessor. So in today's video, we're really going to be focusing on all the new stuff or should I say the top 5 things that you need to know about the Oppo A96. Now before we begin and talk about all that new stuff, uh, of course, Course, we have to talk about the price and here in Malaysia we only have one specification and that goes for RM1299. So without further ado, let's just jump into the first thing that you need to know about the Oppo A96. Now the first thing of course uh, that you need to know here is actually in terms of the storage. Oppo is really promoting the word that goes uh, double the storage, double the joy. So in this Oppo A96 here, uh, we do have 256 gigabytes of internal memory. Now 256 GB on a device at this price point is actually quite uncommon because normally you only see 128 GB. So it's definitely a good thing to see 256 GB straight off by default on the Oppo A96. And you can actually expand that via micro SD in the card slot right here to up to one terabyte. So altogether, you will have a lot of memory and you can also use that to download all kinds of apps, put in as many apps that you want in the Oppo A96. Now, apart from that, since we are talking a bit about memory, it's also worth mentioning that we do have eight gigabytes of RAM here. That is also extendable by five GB. So altogether, you will get about 13 GB of RAM on the Oppo A96 and this really helps out with all your kinds of apps, especially in multitasking. You can have more applications open in the background and this really helps out the processor, the Snapdragon 680 4G that is in the Oppo A96 to give you a very fluid and smooth experience on the Oppo A96. So that's the first thing that you need to know now. Now the second thing that you need to know here is in terms of the battery. Now the Oppo A96 here comes with a 5000 mAh battery and although it is a very slim and compact device, you still have a decently sized battery. Now it's not just the battery that is great, uh, it also comes with a decent charging speed uh, with the 33 watt SuperVoke charger that came in the box. Now in terms of charging speeds, the Oppo A96 here will charge to 55% in just 30 minutes and it will go all the way up to 100% in 71 minutes. Now according to Oppo, you can also get up to uh, 3 hours and 38 minutes of phone calls, 58 minutes of WhatsApp video calls or 1.5 hours of YouTube on just a 5 minute charge with the Oppo A96. So that's again pretty impressive here, uh, all about the battery. Now the third thing that you need to know here is all about the design at the back. Now the Oppo A96 here you know, evolves with the Oppo Glow and all that kind of design language. So on the back here, we do see that we have this very nice matte-ish materials. If you tilt it from side to side, you will be able to see a little bit more of a texture on the back here, but it is completely smooth to the touch, a very nice matte feel that does not capture any fingerprints at all. Now I also happen to have the black version so you can see a side by side of both color options here uh, right on your screens right now. Let me know which one you prefer if you like the black one or if you like the so-called pearl pink. Now apart from that, uh, the design wise, uh, it's also great to see that Oppo has IP54 rating on the Oppo A96 which is actually quite new here because we don't see this kind of IP ratings on the A series smartphones. Now what this IP54 means is that it will be resistant to dust but mainly more importantly is that it will be resistant to sprays, droplets of water and this really means that if you're under the rain, uh, you have rain splashing on the device, you will not have to worry about that because the IP54 rating is there to protect your device. But of course, you cannot submerge the phone into water, you cannot do that, it is only IP54 so at least you have some form of splash resistance on the Oppo A96. Now since I'm talking about the design, I should also mention that we have this very nice uh, sort of a metallic kind of frame that goes all around the device. We also have the Type-C port at the bottom, your headphone jack is still present here and good news, we do have stereo speakers on board the A96. So great stuff there uh, in terms of the design with the Oppo A96. Now the fourth thing that I want to point out here is all about the display at the front. Now in terms of the display, we do have a 1080p display. Uh, it refreshes at 90 hertz and it has a touch sampling rate of 180 hertz. So what this means is that interacting with the display itself will be fairly smooth. Uh, it's definitely smoother than the 60 hertz standard refresh rate that you get on most smartphones. But yeah, 90 hertz refresh rate and 180 hertz touch sampling rate allows you to you know navigate through your games. Uh, you know, through the internet, looking at your social media, everything is going to be smooth on this LCD display. 
Um, although I mentioned it's LCD display, uh, I must mention that the brightness levels is actually quite decent. Colors and contrast levels are also better than your average LCD. So it's, it's still a pretty good LCD display that we have on the front. Apart from that, you do have your punch hole uh, cut out for that selfie camera at the front. Having said that, it actually has a slightly more than 90% screen to body ratio. So overall, uh, just the front look of the LCD display here is actually quite all right. Now the fifth thing that you need to know about the Oppo A96 here is all about the cameras at the back. Now we do have a dual sensor at the back here. We have a 50 megapixel main sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now the main thing here is all about the 50 megapixel main sensor. We are able to capture a few decent shots here that I'm going to show on your screens right now. You can see that during the day it's able to capture pictures quite decently. Uh, it's not the best camera out there but it is still able to capture a few consistent shots so it's still good enough for sharing onto your social media. In terms of night mode, it was also able to brighten a pretty dark scene. So again, uh, it's a quite decent 50 megapixel sensor on the back of this Oppo A96. However, I did wish that it came with an ultra wide so we have that bit more flexibility, but perhaps we will see that in the next iteration of the A-series smartphone. All right, guys, that's uh, all I want to share with you guys today. That's the top five things that you need to know about the Oppo A96. Uh, if you are looking to purchase this device, uh, don't forget to do it between the 18th to 22nd because if you pre-order it during a particular period, you'll be able to get a couple of free uh, that is actually quite interesting. So more information on that promo down in the links below. Otherwise, that's it for today's very quick look at the Oppo A96. If you have any further questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you all for staying to the end. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.